Hey, I'm Meg Carver, Alan Mandick, the Hot Rod Hippie sister, and today's video is gonna be friends and family of the Hot Rod Hippie reading your mean comments. Hey folks, as my sister said in that intro, we're gonna be reading mean comments in this. Well, my friends and family are gonna be reading mean comments to you folks. I'm not trying to give the trolls a platform so nobody's names are gonna be visible in here. I both don't want you folks to go out there and attack them and they don't deserve any credit. You folks, for the most part, in my comment section are excellent, leaving wonderful constructive comments, helping each other out. I love the community we have going here on the Hot Rod Hippie, but sometimes people cross the line just a little too much. With that, let's get into this. I'm gonna start off with my friend Georgia, reading to you folks. Please bear in mind that these folks have not seen these comments at all before I put them on camera. So if they stumble a little bit, it's completely understandable. They're reading off something to a camera they're not used to, first time they're seeing it. Also, some of these are wildly grammatically incorrect because believe it or not, people who leave mean comments are often not that great with the English language. All right. If you're gonna be on the tubes, put your ugly ass artwork arm down to your side. Dude, you talk out of your hands, Given sign language or what? Good info though on your video. Are you autistic or do you have Tourette's or something? If you do, that's okay. If not, simmer down. I don't even know where to start with this one. It's rough. It's a little rough. You are beyond dumb. All those tats will not make you a real hot rodder or a good mechanic. Please delete your channel. Please get off the channel. Okay, thank you. Good video. The less of your mug, the better. The Burns. Have were passe 135 years ago? I mean, I'm a big fan of your mug, to be honest. It's like slightly better version of mine. But I mean, if you're gonna talk about something, talk about something. Why do people need to look for something to complain about just to like get some sort of attention? It's kind of weak. Anyway, more mug, more videos. Thanks. What happened to the hair on your chin? Skinny wimps ought not get tattoos. <laughs> oh my God, what is wrong with these people? Seriously. Who has the time or the energy for this crap? Apparently plenty of people. You may consider keeping the graffiti out of view. It distracts greatly. I have to wonder how soon will the rodent attack your... Okay. I really don't understand this at all. That person also went out of their way to email me. They found my email address and sent that to me in an email that just said that. So this was not in just response to a YouTube. They actually took time to email you. Okay, well, clearly some people have way too much time on their hands and very little consideration for the people who are supportive of your work and you as a family member. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I'll bet this guy hasn't had his hands on an actual tool in a while, let alone the tools he's reviewing. I mean, that's it's like just fundamentally not, you're actually like always fucking touching tools. Ooh. Uh, do, do you refer to your d at all? <laughs> I do not. I, but I could. I do. I call. I call mine. Hmm. Hot rod hippie. You look more like a Nazi tweaker. <laughs> look, male pattern baldness happens to the best of us. Just make do, and you know, I'd like to think you really look like a Nazi tweaker when you're driving your Prius with "Go Vegan" on the back nerd hard to concentrate on the tool i was distracted by the massive ink he has ruined his body with tattoos right down to his fingernails that and his neck tattoos make him a low blue collar jobs for life also people cannot stare at the tattoos when he is in public lastly i have to wonder how high for how long do you have to do to decide to get all that ink sober for like how many years now uh coming up on eight yeah so like no no no, no. 
All right, folks, I hope you got a chuckle out of this. That was definitely the intention of this video was to try and get everybody to laugh at the absurd things that people say to me. I just never understand the concept of why would you even bother to comment these kinds of things? Like, am I gonna change my facial hairstyle? Am I gonna get my tattoos lasered off just because some Yahoo on the internet didn't like them? No, I'm not. One final note, I know that I open myself up to this stuff every time I post a video on YouTube or on anything on social media. However, everybody in this video, I asked them to be a part of this video. So if you leave a mean comment about them, I will delete it. Don't f with me on this. All right, folks, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please go ahead and drop it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that my tattoos and my facial hair make it so you just can't trust anything I say? Please let me know in the comments down below so I can ignore those comments in particular. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date with all the Hot Rod Hippie content, the regular Hot Rod Hippie content on a weekly basis. Thanks for coming around, folks.